And good afternoon. I'm meteorologist Alexandra Cranford coming to you from home and looking outside and seeing beautiful blue skies. As always, we have a few cumulus clouds kind of mixing in and it will be a nice Monday. Our afternoon will be kind of warm, but pretty pleasant, I think, for most of us. And getting into this week, we will continue warming up. In fact, we're going to be warming through Wednesday when we could see temperatures possibly approaching about 90 degrees. We do get a cold front by Thursday night into Friday, and it does look like possibly some rain could be back in the forecast by this weekend and into Easter Sunday. Yesterday, it was looking like a drier Easter Sunday. Things have kind of changed a little bit with some of our model runs later in the night and into early tomorrow or early today. Right now, we do have, again, at the Port of New Orleans, those blue skies mixing with some cloud cover. It's 80 degrees right now, and our dew point has edged up. You'll notice a little bit more humid than it was over the weekend. Current temperatures north of the lake, mainly upper 70s to about 80. And along the coast, we have mainly low 70s right now. As we look at our winds, here's the key coming in from the southeast at about 10 or 12 miles per hour or so. And as we look at our satellite imagery, we do have just a little bit of cloud cover here and there again, but no rain expected today. It looks like a dry day. Here's our forecast. I have highs about 84, maybe topping out near 85 this afternoon. So again, be ready for the warmth this week. As we look at our forecast for tonight, it won't be quite as cool. Our temperatures will only bottom out around 70 or so, maybe some upper 60s north of the lake, and it will be a little bit muggier too. You notice tonight and this evening actually pretty pleasant in the 70s, but you'll notice that humidity edging up with those south winds. This is 7 p.m. If you do have plans to maybe get a little bit of exercise or something like that, maybe sit on your porch, get outside somehow. Uh, temperatures will be in the 70s, so it looks pretty pleasant. This is tomorrow morning. Notice an increase in clouds and again, a little warmer than we've seen in the mornings lately. And then 5 p.m. tomorrow, note the spotty shower activity as more moisture starts to pump in and a little disturbance kind of slides around a big high pressure area that will be building to our south, which I'll show you in a second. Note the warm up also by Wednesday into the upper 80s. And then Thursday, our rain chance is back to near 30% for a few scattered showers and storms. There's the high building tomorrow and into Wednesday. So that will bring in those southerly winds warming us up, maybe producing a couple of afternoon showers tomorrow and maybe even into Wednesday. I have just a 10 to 20% rain chance then. Wednesday evening for Passover, temperatures will still be about 82 near sunset. And then for Good Friday, so many things happening this week. Temperatures by then will be in the 70s after that slightly cooler air and the more cloud cover and the rain begins to have an impact. Our rain chance about 40% then. And then for Easter Sunday as well, 40% chance right now. We will see whether we have to increase that in mostly cloudy skies with highs near 79 Here's a quick look if you're curious about what to expect later this week. This is Thursday evening, so this would be the time frame for the front to start arriving, moving in and bringing a few showers and possibly a couple of storms. This would be Saturday, uh, Friday morning and then into Saturday and notice that we'll have some rain chances. Actually, this particular model keeps us mostly dry on Saturday, although the Euro does have a bit of rain. And then here's Easter Sunday, 4 p.m., a few showers, and maybe into Sunday night and early Monday, we could get another wave of some shower or thunderstorm activity. So we'll be watching, but the models are not in perfect sync yet. We will let you know, of course, as we get closer. Here's the river, very high at 16.7 feet, forecast to hit 17 feet. The latest forecast is for that to happen tomorrow at the Carrollton Gauge, staying steady through April 19th and then falling quickly, maybe back by May 1st, only to about 15 and a half feet. Our seven day forecast showing the big warm up. Again, if you're looking for some rain, like many of you may be, we're looking for that maybe Thursday into Friday. And again, we'll keep the rain chance there right now all the way into Easter Sunday.